Hi. There he is. How are you, my love? Oh my gosh. Hi, Ricky. It's so good to see you as always, looking so good with that beard, babe. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy it for now because it's going away very soon. I know, but I have to say it's going away for a great reason because, girl, one thing about you is you are booked and busy. And as we can see, you got the virtual backdrop going on. She's a walking billboard. <laughs> I, I literally am. Um, and as you can already see from this beautiful picture of Wade McCollum, who is currently in the show, uh, uh, you'll get to see a lot of me in this play. <laughs> <laughs> Give us like the premise here. What is this show about and who do you really get to play? Yeah, so Kenneth slash Kate Marlowe was a really fascinating person who lived uh, from 1926 to 1990. And this play covers the first half of their life before they transitioned. It's like the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life. It includes drag, it includes singing, it includes burlesque, it includes like all of this stuff. Uh, and yes, um, some partial nudity. So <laughs> we're gonna be in a little sarong and holding fans and that's it. <laughs> okay, girl, I am so happy you're touching on the nudity because let's just be clear, you've been trade forever. If you ask me, you've always <laughs> been trade. People definitely react a lot to my out of drag stuff, which is kind of what gave me the confidence to like do a play like this, where yes, there's like a bit of drag, but most of the piece, I am not in any kind of drag. Um, so. To have like uh, the confidence to kind of start pursuing more out of drag stuff. You know, it's 2024. Let's be any and all genders that we feel we are ready to be. The DMs are wild. <laughs> I will say that, Ricky. The DMs can be quite wild. Very much so. And I have to imagine you've had some fans DM you asking, when are you joining OnlyFans? So let me ask you that very question. When are you joining OnlyFans? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to because I don't, I'm, I'm like very confident in myself, but I'm, I'm, I'm not like, I want to share that part of myself, like not with the world, you know? So, um, I, uh, I, I'm very flattered that people would want to do that. Um, you know, and, uh, I guess, I guess it's insurance if I ever need a lot of money for some reason, if people really want to pay for that. In 10 years, you like replay this interview after I've become an OnlyFans star. No, I don't I don't think that's gonna happen for me, but uh, yeah, that's not in my cards. 